Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy 2024. It honestly feels crazy to even say this, 2024. I can't believe we're finally here, but I'm so, so happy and so excited for this year. So for today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to romanticize your 2024 and make it your best year yet. The first thing, I know you know it already, but resolutions. So I know you've probably heard it all before. There's no point in resolutions. If I wanted to do something, I can just start it any days. I don't have to wait till the new year, blah, 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 blah. I have heard these things so many times, even from my friends and I wholeheartedly disagree with that. I think New Year's resolutions give you the chance to look back on your year and reflect on everything you've done and be proud of yourself and be grateful for everything that's happened that year and then look at what you're already doing well and what you want to improve in your life. At least that's how I look at resolutions, it's just reflecting on the past year, everything that's been good and other things that I want to improve in my life and how I can improve them. That being said, if you make resolutions saying something like, I want to go to the gym, that's not a very concrete goal that you can achieve, you need to give yourself a more measurable goal. So what I've been doing is using numbers, for example, I want to gym three times a week, and not even just that, but I want to be able to run this many kilometers on the treadmill by the end of the year. So if you have like these concrete goals that you can work towards, you're gonna stay motivated to achieve those goals instead of just saying, I wanna go to the gym and going to the gym for January and then by the time February comes, you just forget about it because there's no specific thing that you need to work towards. I actually have my resolutions from last year right here. So I'm gonna quickly go over them. I do specifically remember that I was so careful with my resolutions to keep my list short so that it's achievable. If you write 20 to 30 things that you wanna do, you're gonna forget half of them and you're gonna be overwhelmed and you won't get any of them done but if you give yourself let's say like three to five main goals that you want to achieve then you can remember them and you can regularly check on them looking back at some of my resolutions from last year I had three main categories so I had school social media and myself for school, I said don't skip classes unless you're sick, which I used to do sometimes if I just wasn't in the mood for class, and this actually came true. I also had a goal of just like improving my grades, which I did. I saw a big change of my grades from last year to this year, and I'm so, so proud of where I am now. I had some other random little goals here to do with school. Some of them I achieved, some of them I didn't, which is okay. At social media, for example, I wanted to hit 500 on YouTube, which I'm over 600 subscribers right now, so that makes me so happy. So here's a little rundown of my resolutions from last year and which ones have come true. Okay, so I'm about to write my resolutions, but there's something I actually forgot to mention. Another way that you can make sure that you actually accomplish these goals and you're not just writing them down at the beginning of the year and just forgetting them. This is actually an idea that I had with my friend yesterday because we were talking about how we both do New Year's resolutions, but we wanna make sure we don't forget them. And what we decided to do is that we can all send each other our resolutions in our group chat and then regularly like check in with each other and make sure that we hold each other accountable. And then by the end of 2024, we can just look back and see if we actually accomplished all the goals that we want to do. So definitely if you have people that you can be in this with, it is so much more motivating when you do it with someone else and you can make sure that you hold each other accountable. Especially if you guys check in on each other regularly, like let's say every three months or something, you do a little check in and see how far you've gotten on your goals. I'm just going to go ahead and write some of my resolutions for this year. I usually know that it's been a good year in terms of like accomplishing my goals when I have trouble coming up with new resolutions because that means that I've done most of the things that I wanted to do so I can't just like recycle them and use them again which is good obviously because I want to have like new and fresh ideas for each year Okay, so I've just been writing away the past like 10-15 minutes and I have some pretty good ones. So I'm not going to share all of them just because I don't really like sharing things until they kind of come true. I like to keep it for myself. But basically what I did is I stuck to the same kind of format that I did last year because it seemed to work. So I had like three main categories, social media, school slash like my work career and then myself. So for social media, I put like some numbers I want to hit, how often I want to be posting. I also put like, I'd love to do an internship after I finish my undergrad, for example. It would be cool to get a little bit more of like a hands-on full-time experience. And then for myself, so I put things like daily journaling, fixing my sleep. I also put have more fun and take life a little less seriously just because this year felt a little bit on the serious side. And I just want to have a lot more fun in 2024 and just keep it like a light and fun and breezy year. And then this one is something a little bit vulnerable and I'm only saying it so that you can put it on your resume solution to if you haven't, but I wrote, do not allow those who have wronged you to come back into your life. 
it is totally okay to forgive and move on but that doesn't necessarily mean that these people who have wronged you before need to come back in your life obviously it's like context-based but if you've continuously been wronged by someone you don't feel good around this person they're just not good for your energy not good for your mental health or anything do not allow them back into your life in 2024. I think 2024 is really like the new year, new me era. It's about having a clean slate, just going in fresh. Last one. So actually last year when I did my resolutions, I wrote something about anxiety. So I wrote, don't fight your anxiety, learn from it. And I really like that. And I think that's a good reminder to always have. So I wrote something kind of a little bit different, but I said, let your anxiety be a guide to what's working and what's not working. So a lot of the ways I'm choosing to romanticize my 2024 is with a bunch of like books and planners. And I find that like tangible paper and using tangible paper to deal with my thoughts with my ideas with my creativity with everything has helped so much and it helps me like calm my mind kind of so i use this book mainly for like goal setting and resolutions next i'm going to talk about the five minute journal which i know you've probably heard about now i used this in 2022 2022 was a highlight year obviously i'm not claiming that this journal was like the key to having an amazing year but i do think that starting my mornings with this journal helped me just have a better outlook on each day and just start my day not thinking about all the things i had to do or like things i was stressed about or anything like that it asks you what you're grateful for what would make today great and daily affirmations so i found that doing this was really really helpful and helped me have a very positive mindset in the morning next is a planner so whether you choose to do like an online google calendar or notion i know there's a lot of like different online planners that you can use or a physical one personally i prefer a physical one i have this planner that i actually got for christmas from one of my friends and I'm just going to be going in and I already have a couple like appointments a couple of plans for 2024 so I just go in and write those down I just use this throughout the year I write down like daily things that I have to do I write down all my plans because I will forget honestly if I don't have my plans written down somewhere I will forget that I'm supposed to meet you for coffee tomorrow or that I'm going to a concert in like two days like I need things written down for me to remember so I have this burn book which I got for Halloween two years ago because one of my costumes was Regina George and so I bought this burn book I never really used it since but I remember that I went to a Halloween party with this book and I just got random people that I met to write down like little notes like whatever they wanted to say I just have these random little comments throughout the book which is so funny and I think just like a fun little memory but most of the book is empty and I haven't been using it for anything and then I had this idea because basically I don't know why but I've happened to use a lot of photo booths this year which I love photo booths but I just had a bunch of like photo booth pictures and I didn't really know what to do with them and I thought it would be fun to just put them in a the little book and then write a little note so I can remember kind of like the backstory of the pictures I think what I'm gonna do now is write my little notes for all the other pictures that I have in here I did just go ahead and write a bunch for this one and this one and i've started this one as well so i still have a little bit left so i will do that later but just to give you an idea i think this could be so so fun to do if you want to just kind of remember those little moments with your friends and kind of have like a physical copy of them it also doesn't have to be just pictures it could be like tickets to a train that you took or a plane that you took or a trip that you went on or a movie that you really wanted to see anything that's tangible and something very memorable for you you could document it in this little book kind of like a scrapbook i am just really trying to bring back like physical kind of memories because i have all my memories on my phone on my laptop which is great but like you never know what could happen obviously so i like to have kind of like a physical way to hold on to my memories now that i'm done going through my little haul of books and how to use each one I'm going to give you some other ideas of things that I'm planning on doing to kind of romanticize and make 2024 just an amazing year. So one thing I like to do is switch up my space a lot. I am someone who my space really matters. If my space is cluttered, if it's not decorated the way that I like or anything along those lines, if I'm just not super comfortable and happy with my space, I will not thrive. I will not be able to focus. It'll constantly be in the back of my mind. So I try to always curate a space that makes me happy and fits my aesthetic and fits my vibe. So for example, as you can see in the background there i have a bunch of christmas decorations which i will be taking down but just to give you an example of how i like to have a space that you know embraces every season every holiday and it's just cute and fun so what i'm deciding to do now is i have this little shelf which i had decorated with a bunch of like christmasy things i'll put a clip here so I decided that for 2024, I want to switch out the space every season. So I had this frame and I originally had a Christmas picture which I printed in here and it was really cute and it really added to the space. 
but now that Christmas is over I wanted to switch up the picture and I actually painted this little picture myself I just knew I wanted to do something kind of just cutesy girly and pink and obviously bows are such a thing right now which I love so I wanted to incorporate a bow somehow I just randomly decided to paint this little thing and have it on my little shelf and I love it so much so I'm hoping that maybe every two to three months I will change the picture, I'll paint something new, or I'll print a new picture. So when spring comes around, for example, I will probably put like a picture with flowers or something. So I'm just looking at my list right now because I wrote a bunch of things to romanticize your 2024. I just need to remember them. So another one is to make a vision board. I have made vision boards in my videos before, so I won't bore you with that again. But I will show you the vision board I have for this year. I try to be really intentional with my vision boards and choose pictures that either fit the aesthetic that I like or that I want or showcase goals that I want to achieve in that year. So the vision board I have on my laptop right now is more for the aesthetic that I'm trying to achieve this year and less about my goals just because I also have my goals written down. It just shows a bunch of pictures for this aesthetic which I like to call old money girly girl and it's just about leveling up my style in a more mature way but maintaining that girly feminine vibe which I love and is such a staple in my clothing. I definitely recommend making a vision board. All I do is go on Pinterest and find a bunch of pictures that fit the goals I want, the aesthetic I want. I put them together on Canva and I'll make it my laptop vision board and then I'll do one for my phone as well. I think it's also important to try a bunch of hobbies. I think I did that really well in 2023 actually. I've loved reading for a while but I really really got into it earlier this year. I just went through a bunch of books and I absolutely loved reading. But just to keep myself in that reading flow, I think I'm just gonna go on my library page right now and just place a bunch of books on hold that I can go and pick up soon because I think when I constantly have books on rotation, I'm more motivated to continue reading. I think it's also important to find joy in the little things which is something I really did this past year. Obviously the big moments are so fun to celebrate whether you travel or you graduate or whatever like big milestone you reach this year those are obviously really special but those don't make up your year because we have 365 days in a year you are not going to have 365 days of these big major like events and moments but finding joy in the little things like waking up early and appreciating a slow morning or finding joy in cooking yourself breakfast every day finding joy in going on a daily walk in the sunshine finding ways to appreciate the little little moments in life you find ways to make them even more special so if you go on a walk maybe listen to a podcast about romanticizing your life improving your life achieving whatever goal you want to achieve or you listen to music that makes you feel good that makes you want to dance that makes you want to run around but just finding little ways to take the most like mundane experiences of life and making them all the more special this is so random but i put it on here changing your toothbrush also clean your makeup brushes which i know is something that we're all not doing as much as we should you could also clean your bed sheets your bed cover with also clean your hair brushes if you haven't been another thing that i recommend you can take this or leave this i know this is kind of controversial people have their different opinions but curate your social media to yourself so a lot of the times you wind up following people that either don't make you feel good about yourself or people from your past who you know you don't really talk to anymore or you have some history with or whatever and you're constantly like seeing their posts seeing their name and that's just not healthy for anyone what i actually just did is i unfollowed a couple people whose name i didn't really want to see people can think whatever they want but at the end of the day you are living your life for yourself it's really not about them it's not really personal to them at all it's just about you kind of having a clean slate for 2024 and going in with fresh eyes and consuming content that makes you feel good another thing you can do for 2024 is document your life I love documenting my life. Obviously, you want to make sure you're present wherever you are. Like, I am not on my phone all the time when I'm out to dinner. I'm not constantly, like, recording everything when I'm at a concert. But I'll take a little snapshot. I love to just kind of remember all the things I did in a year and everything that made me happy. I also love sharing it with people. So if you've been thinking for a while that you want to share your life on social media, you want to post pictures, I know a lot of people tend to have anxiety with that. But the hardest part is starting. Once you start, it's just going to become so much easier. And I think that's kind of the fun part about social media. You put whatever you want out there and you don't really have to pay attention to what people are saying you do it for yourself you share it for your friends for the people that want to see and for the people that don't they can easily unfollow another way to also romanticize your year is dedicating a lazy day i like to call it so one day a week having a lazy day where this is a day where you don't do work you don't do school you don't do anything that you have to do but you take the day to 
watch movies, relax in bed, sleep in. I have personally found that having one lazy day a week helps me so much because I constantly have to be doing things. There's always things on my to-do list, things I have to do, things I want to do. But taking one day where I don't feel guilty when I do everything helps me recharge. I get better sleep. I feel so much more relaxed. And I go into the next day so much more refreshed and ready to do all the things that I want to do. I highly recommend just scheduling a lazy day once a week if you can. And if your schedule is too busy, it doesn't permit having like a full lazy day, at least give yourself like a lazy morning or a lazy afternoon. Another little thing to do is to regularly clear your old emails, your old pictures. I like to do a digital clean about once a month. Another way to romanticize your 2024 is to be open to new things, whether that be new foods, new activities, new people. So something I did last year was I painted a lot and I really, really enjoyed that actually. And I'm not like the most artistic person, but I do think I have a little bit of like an artistic side to me that I have had all my life ever since I was a kid. I, I kind of shut off that side to me for a while and I got to rediscover it again this past year with painting and I have had so much fun with it. Whatever activity you want to do, it doesn't have to be something that you're necessarily good at. It can just be something that you enjoy doing. I remember, this is so random, but I remember watching an episode of Jonas, if you know that show from Disney, and there's this one episode where one of the characters, Macy, she really loves to sing, but she's not very good at it. By the end of the episode, she says something like, just because I'm not good at it doesn't mean I have to stop doing it, and I really, really love that. So yeah, definitely put yourself out there, try new hobbies, you can try crocheting, you can get into reading, you can paint. You can get into running if you want to run. Like there's so many things out there that you can do and I'm sure that you will find something that you love. That's everything I have for how to romanticize your 2024. I actually made a video last year as well about leveling up for 2023. So if you want to watch that video as well, I had some different ideas in there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I have so, so many exciting videos coming out this year and I'm so excited to film them and put them out there. And I hope you all have an amazing 2024 year. I know this year is going to be a good one. I'm just so excited to start this year together. I'll see you next week. Bye!